8.2, numbers 16 and 17, and we're probably going to fit in a couple more also. Now we're going to do some more square roots. This time they're going to have variables under the radical, um, but we're not doing cube roots yet. We'll leave that for the next video clip. So when you have variables, let's first look at when the, F, the power of the variable is an even. So if you have an even power and you're taking a square root of it, then what you can do is divide the power by the root, which is 2 because it's a square root, and that gives you what comes out. And this is again for non-negative x. Let's look at where that comes from. Let's say we have square root of x squared. Well, the square root of x squared is whatever we multiply by itself to give us x squared. We would multiply x by itself. x times x gives us x squared, so that equals x if I had x to the fourth. What times itself would give us x to the fourth? Well, that would be x squared times x squared. So the answer is x squared. And again, that's because x squared times x squared equals x to the fourth. So x to the sixth, let's look at that. Square root of x to the sixth, so what item by its, uh, multiplied by itself is going to give us x to the sixth, it'll be x cubed. So as soon as you do the root, you divide the power by 2. So we're doing 6 divided by 2. And that gives us a 3. Same over here. So if we just keep going on for any power where n is even, the square root of x to the n for even n is x to the n divided by 2. And that's where this little recipe here comes from. So if we want to, on number 16, simplify root x to the 6th. Root x to the 6th equals x cubed, because x cubed times x cubed gives us x to the 6th. So we do 6 divided by 2, power divided by root. On the next one, we have simplify root 36 x squared. Well, we can think of them separately. First, let's do root 36. That will give us a 6. And then we can do root of x squared. x times x gives us x squared, or think of it as power 2 divided by root 2. We get x. And let's do some more. Number 21. Here we have an odd power. What we're going to do for odd powers is break it into factors where we have an even power and then one left over. So like this. For odd n, factor must follow as follows. Uh, root x to the n equals root x to the n minus 1, so subtract 1 from the exponent, and then have 1 left over. And then we go ahead and simplify it like we did the other ones. So here we have x to the 19th, and we're taking the square root. So let's rewrite it. 19 minus 1 is 18. So we rewrite it as x to the 18 times x. And then we can go ahead and say, well, the square root of x to the 18th is 18 divided by 2, or x to the 9th. And that comes out. And we're left over with a root x on the inside, because we can't do anything else to that. So we're done. Right, so pull out that one and do the root, and that gives us the x to the 9 on the outside. Number 22, simplify 16m to the 7. We can do 16, the root of 16, that's going to give us a 4. Let's just go ahead and pull that out. Root 16 equals 4, so we have 4 root m to the 7. And for the m to the 7, let's rewrite it as m to the 6 times m. And then we can say square root of m to the 6 is m cubed. So go ahead and do the root of that one. 4m cubed. And the leftover guy is root m. 